Hello people and welcome to the Counterfactual Stories YouTube channel. Today we will talk about Ratmir Holmov, one of the chess legends from Russia. Before we start, don't forget to press subscribe button. Ratmir Holmov uh, was born in 1925 and died in the 2006 in Moscow. He was a Russian chess grandmaster. He won many international tournaments in Eastern Europe during his career and tied for the Soviet Championship title in 1963, but lost the playoff. Holmo was not well known in the West, since he never competed there during the, his career peak, being conf conf confined to events in the socialist countries. His chess results were impressive, so this may have been for security reasons, as Holmo had been a wartime sailor. But he was one of the strongest Soviet players from the mid-1950s well into the 1970s, and was ranked as high as number 8 in the world by Chessmetrics.com from August 1960 to March 1961. Holmo stayed active in competitive chess right to the end of his life and maintained a high standard. Holmov uh, learned uh, chess at age uh, 12 and was near master strength within three years. He served as a sailor in the Soviet merchant marine during World War II, sailing mainly the northern Arctic route. In 1945, he took fifth in Tula. In 1946, he won in uh, Belarus. In 1947, he took fourth in the 13 Belarus Championship. Later that year, he made his first high-level appearance at the Mikhail Chigorin Memorial, Moscow 1947, scoring 5.5 out of 15 against a powerful international field. In 1948, Holmov uh, won the next BLR Championship in 1948, unbeaten with 19.5 out of 13. Holmov qualified for his first Soviet final in 1948. Moscow, U.S.T. Uh, 16, scoring uh, uh, eight and a half out of 18 for the 12th, uh, 12th place, where the winners were David Bronstein and Alexander Kotov. He had to return to the Soviet semi-final level at the Tbilisi in 1949, where he placed third with a 10 and a half out of seven, 17 to advance. In 1950, he took third in Parnu, seventh in Tbilisi, and tied fourth in the Sparta Club Championship. He missed finals qualifying at Tartu 1950 with nine and a half out of 15 points for fifth place. In 1954, he took second behind Vladas Mikenas in Vilnius. Holmo won or tied for first in the Lithuanian Championship in 1949, 50, 51, 52, 53, 55, 57, 58, 59, and 1960, making a total of 10 outright or shared Lithuanian titles. The consistent success meant that he could be a full-time chess professional. Holmo made his international debut at Bucharest in 1945 with a tied third and fourth place on 11 out of 17, as Viktor Kochnoi won. He placed 6th in Kiev, 1954, uh, in the URS 21, with 10 uh, and a half out of 19, with Yuri Averbach winning. This heralded his arrival in the Soviet elite. FIDE awarded Holmov the International Master title in 1954. He tied for third place uh, at Leningrad in 1955 with 10 and a half out of 18 as Vladimir Antoshin won. Holmov tied for the first place at Dresden 1956 with Averbach on 12 out of 15. He earned the international master title for this. A very solid tied fifth place, fifth to seventh place at URS Championship uh, 23 in Leningrad 1956 with 10 and a half out of 17, reinforced his high echelon status. He maintained the standard at the next Soviet finals at Moscow 1957, 
uh, and he placed second in the Schwarzenzdroy 1957 with 11 out of 15 behind winner Efim Geller. Holmo won the Soviet semi-final at Tashkent 1958 with 11 and a half out of 15 ahead of Kochnoy and Geller. His first clear international title was at Ballad Furt 1959 where he scored 10 out of 13 to edge Wolfgang Ullmann. Holmo scored one of the best results on his career when a tied first and second along with Smyslov at the Moscow International 1960 with 8.5 out of 11. The same year FIDE awarded him the Grand Master title. He won the Soviet semi-final at Novogorod 1961 with 13 out of 16 points. In Baku, in December 1961, he scored 11 out of 12 out uh, of 20. He was clear first at Bucharest 1962 ahead of Vladislav Shenovsky. He tied second places at the Spartak Championship at Minsk behind Anatoly Banik. In 1963 he shared first uh, uh, place with Boris Paski and Leonid Stein at Leningrad the 31st Soviet Chess Championship. Stein prevailed in the three main playoffs, consequently Kolmov is arguably the strongest player of the era, ranking from the 1940s to the 1960s to never hold the title of Soviet championship. Isak Boleslavski is the only other player of Kolmov's strength that period to never hold a title. At Sochi 1946, Kolmov tied second in third places with 10 out of 10, 10 out of 15 behind winner Nikolas Krogius. Then Holmov suffered perhaps his greatest career disappointment in the Soviet Zonal Tournament, Moscow 1964, where he scored 6 out of 12 for fourth in the super strong field, but fell one play short of advancing to the interzonal stage. At Kiev 1964, Holmov tied fifth and sixth places with 11 and a half out of 19 as Korchnoi won. He made a notable result at Havana, 1965, with five places and on 14 and a half out of 21, as Mislov won, but Holmov defeated Bobby Fischer and finished undefeated in the tournament. Holmov moved to Moscow in 1967 and lived there for the rest of his life. He won at Belgrade 1967. One of the best career results was second in a very strong field at Leningrad in 1967 with 12 out of 16 behind Korchnoi. He was fourth in an excellent field at Skopje, 1967, with uh, 11 and a half out of 17 as Fischer won. Holmo won at Havana, 1968, with a powerful 12 out of 14 ahead of Stein and Alexei Sutin. He played in the next four Soviet finals continued to be strong. At Alma Ata, 1968, he played 6 to 9 with 10 and a half out of uh, 19 as Lev Polugaevsky and Zaitsev won. The next interzonal qualifier was at Moscow 1969 and he finished 7 with 12 and a half out of 22 with Polugaevsky and Petrosian winning. This was a point short of advancing to the interzonal. Holmov got just one chance to represent the USSR in a team event a full, at full international level when he played board 10 at the European Team Championship Kapfenberg 1970. He won the board gold medal with 4.5 out of 6 plus 3 minus 0 equals 3 and helped his side to team gold. Holmov did play in many national matches such as against Hungary and Yugoslavia generally scoring well. The chess matrix website statistically estimates the retroactive ranking at a minimum of top 25 in the world from the 1956 to 1970, with his peak ranking being 8th in the 1960 to 61. They further estimate that his peak ranking was 2736, also in the 1961. Holmov continued to stay very active in competitive play and he was generally quite successful. At Luhatskovice, 1973, he tied for the uh, fourth and fifth place with 9 out of 15, with Andreas Adorian and Jan Smiakal winning. 
At Sochi 1974, he scored 8.5 out of 15 for a tight 4 to 6 place, with Paul Gajewski winning. At age 63, Holmov tied 3rd to 6th at Sochi in 1988 with 7 out of 13 as Sergei Dolmatov won. Holmov tied for the title in the 2000 World Senior Championship at Rovi on 8 out of 11 with Mark Taimanov, Yanis Klovans and Alexander Chernikov. Then he placed second in the same event the next year at Arco again with 8 out of 11, tied with Klovans and Vladimir Karasev. Behind the champion, Vladimir Bukal Sr. Kolmov played competitive chess virtually right up until he set in early 2006 at age of 80. He appeared in a senior event in Dresden 50 years after he won a tournament there. Kolmov was known as the central defender in the Soviet chess circle because of his great skill of repulsing enemy aggression. But he was also a very dangerous attacker that most of the leading Soviet players learned. During his peak years, Homo was difficult to defeat even at the top levels. He qualified for the 16 Soviet finals between 1949 and 1972, with an aggregate well over the 50%. He scored wins over world champion Petrosian, Spassky, Fischer and Gary Kasparov. Homo was comfortable as white with both uh, A4 and D4 could play excellent classical chess with both colors, and had an occasional founders fondness for unusual opening, with which he had good success as team selection show. I hope you like this episode, don't forget to press subscribe button and see you very soon, bye.